guys, what's up? Matt Chuck right here. And uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, extract Black Ops 2 and uh, add mod menus on it on your RGH or JTAG. Um, I'm going to try to make this video as quick as I can. Um, I made, I'm making this video because uh, I get a lot of buyers and they don't know how to install the mod menus and stuff. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. Um, what you're gonna do first, uh, you're gonna go to my games, XCX menu 1.2, and also um, you're gonna need uh, you're gonna need Xbox 360 neighborhood, and you're also gonna need some uh, files. They're called I'll have them in the description to download, but they're called the Tesseract RAR folder, uh, the TU18 files, and the default mp.xex and you're also going to need your mod menu that you want for your game but uh, anyway what you're going to do on your xbox for now uh, we're, we're going to go to freestyle dash and to load it you're going to click default.xex you're going to let that load And then what you're going to do is you're going to go up to utilities and then DVD extract. And you're going to set the destination path to uh, HDD1 slash games. Uh, if you, if it doesn't say games, you're going to need to go in HDD1 and you're going to need to make a, uh, you're going to need to make a folder. So uh, I already have mine down there. So, yeah, name the Black Ops game to Black Ops 2, or if you want, you can make two copies of Black Ops 2 and have one as your, like, normal game, and then um, you can make a separate one for whatever mod menu you want, and you can, like, name it to that mod menu or whatever, but I'm going to go ahead and, and start the copy. And I'm probably going to, I'm going to, uh, like, fast forward this. Alright guys, so it's almost done. Um, make sure that it does transfer every single file. Like at the top it says, 4, or 7416 megabyte out of 7552. So, um, make sure it does all of that. If it doesn't, then your laser is probably bad in your Xbox or something, or you didn't set the destination. So, there we go. It's all done. That took a good, uh, about, I didn't time myself, but I'm, it took about 20 minutes to do. So, go ahead and press back, and now you should have Black Ops 2 in, in the games folder which is right there and then scroll down to I'm gonna go ahead and launch it just so I can show you guys that it is working there we go it's loading up I'm not I'm not gonna wait for it because I don't want to make this video so long so uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to eject the disc from the Xbox. Let's get that out of there. And then uh, we're going to move over to the computer now. And I'm going to show you guys what to do on there. Alright, hey guys, I'm on the computer now. Uh, I had to do this two times because I got distracted. But, um,. So what we're going to do now is you're actually, you're going to need to download these four files right here and I would recommend the neighborhood as well because it saves a lot of time and then you're going to need a mod menu and these are three mod menu menus I have right now. This is the one I'm currently using, not on this exact game right now but like on my other Xbox I use V2 and then this one is a v2.4 I don't like it because it freezes and then this one is a v3.1 which I have not tried yet so I'm gonna try this one today and um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna open up neighborhood 
and then you're gonna get this you're gonna add the Xbox 360 and what you're gonna do here is you're gonna find your IP so go on your Xbox and go to games let me show you guys my Xbox right now go to XEX menu then press RB two times and then at the bottom it will be your IP so I'm gonna go ahead and type that in and then uh, let me guys let me explain this to you guys um, why does it ask you to set it as a default if you don't click yes then you won't be able to connect mod menus to or not mod menus but mod tools if, if you don't click yes then you won't be able to connect mod tools to your Xbox 360 from your computer so uh, click yes to that and click finish and then you'll see you'll see this then we're gonna go into here and we're gonna go to retail hard drive and we're gonna go to games and black ops 2 and then what we're gonna do here is um, it shouldn't uh, the RAR folder and some of these folders and files won't be in your um, in your game once you extract it because like I said I already did this once I have to do it again so but anyway we're gonna open up the Tesseract folder and go into here then we're gonna move Tesseract DLL into here And we're gonna go we're gonna move this entire folder right here and if it if it asks you to replace any of this just click yes to all and then open up to you 18 and you're gonna copy every single one of these fi uh, files right in here move it click yes to all out of that and then you're gonna move the default mp.xex move that in there yes and then what we're gonna do is uh, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna load our mod menu so we're gonna go into RAR then maps mp game types and then um, alright so you guys see how this is named right here say if I put this in here um, this is where your your mod menu will actually go if you just put that in there it will not work so what you have to do is you have to take this exact name right here and you gotta put that name and you gotta re rename this file with that name which I can't do right now but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one And then we're gonna move this one in there, and it's, as you can see, it's already renamed to what it should be. So just go ahead and move that in there, and then click yes, to all. And then that's pretty much all how you load your mod menu on there. And I'm gonna show you guys right now that this does work. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna load up um, Black Ops 2. And as you can see, it will start it automatically once you click default mp.xex. Also, for some of those that do know how to use a RGH for Black Ops 2, you need to uh, load this one instead of this one because um, this one is like your modded default.xex. So if you if you load the, the default.xex, the regular one, it won't load your mod menu. I'm gonna go ahead and go to custom games and I'm gonna go ahead and start it so I don't you don't have to change any of the settings or anything let's go right into it and I am online right now as you can see so. and yeah there's your mod menu you got god mode 
infinite ammo, all that good stuff. You can spawn bots and stuff. Um, what I'm gonna show you guys before my thing starts rec stops recording, um, I'm gonna show you guys that this does work online, like with real players. And how you do that is you actually you're gonna force host. As you can see at the bottom, the bottom left corner it says uh, force host on. Once you do that, you can play online after that. So you gotta go into custom games, force host, then in the game, and then uh, you'll be able to play online on like a public match or whatever. So that's what I'm gonna go show you guys right now. Um, I'm gonna go into team deathmatch. As you can see, there's um, this is actually how you can tell if your host is when when you're all alone and <laughs> when the maps like load up and stuff, and then people start joining you. That's that's pretty much how you can tell, or that's one way I figured out. But um, So yeah, this is my first time using this menu online. Um, and there it is. Got God Mode, Infinite Ammo, Invisibility. Um, I'm actually going to make it a uh, sniper's lobby. And we're online right now. Got Aimbot. Right there. And you can make people um, admins and stuff like that. So yeah, guys, there's your mod menu. Um, Hope this guy, hope this helped you guys out a lot. Um, sorry the video was so long, but yeah. Uh, don't forget to check out my Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube and check out my Facebook page and all that stuff.